Hey guys, um, I want to do a follow-up on uh, what was occurring earlier um, when I was um, setting things up and uh, I mentioned to you that the servo motors kind of took off on their own and um, I figured out what it was um, a little bit later in the well it's coming right up actually in the all-in-one DC installation guide it talks about um, jogging your motors of course unbelted first just to make sure that they, they move in both directions um, and um, it talks about setting up the initial PID settings for the servo motors um, it's, it's something that needs to be done so anyway um, I had mentioned that um, the x-axis and the z-axis motors just took off they started running with with no for no apparent reason and um, when I went to jog the motors using the when you use a PC it's uh, alt J brings up the jog screen and at this point you can you can jog the axis let me set the feed rate up a little bit it defaults to 1% so I'm gonna set it up to 10% And we're going to go in uh, continuous mode. There you go. So you can see it's it's moving now. So I can I can jog the X motor back and forth, and I can jog the Y motor back and forth. I don't know if you can hear it. There's the Z axis motor. I can move it back and forth now. So. Um, basically what happened is I had runaways uh, runaway meaning what the software tries to do with a servo motor is hold position in other words it's looking at the encoder and if there's no movement commanded it, it, it just sits there and holds it okay um, if for some reason it the encoder drifts to one direction it, the software corrects it and brings it back and sometimes it sits there and dithers it just back and forth back and forth um, and just holds position how the control holds it is if it drifts off to one direction it tries to pull it back and when it and the feedback is when it's trying to pull it back into position it's looking at the encoder counts so if the encoder counts are coming in the right way then it's happy but if the polarity of the motor is reversed and you know it say it drifts to one direction it wants to pull it back well what ends up happening if the motor is reversed the polarity is reversed well when it's trying to pull it back in the direction it wants to go it actually goes the opposite direction and it keeps turning and turning and, and, and all of a sudden you have a runaway it just goes because it's trying to software's trying to pull it back into position i don't know why my motors were that way um, because when I did my encoders I wired my positive lead which was red I assumed red to the positive lead of the motor both motor leads were black and red the home run cable from the motor to the all-in-one DC is black and red I wired them up that way um, we are going to do an experiment um, where I have another we're going to do an experiment I have another Glentech motor and we're going to check it with a meter and we're going to turn the shaft and basically a DC brush motor when you turn it's a generator so we're going to see if we can figure out what the polarity is of a motor uh, by rotating it so what I did is I went to the all-in-one DC and because I, I had read this and understood about the runaway issue and it seemed to me that it was a runaway issue initially we thought it was PID settings weren't set quite right for the motors and that, that could have been so I went in there and I just reversed I took the red lead and put it on the negative and put the black lead on the positive and then I started up the control and I only did it on the y-axis because it was easy for me to watch and then I went into the jog panel and then I jogged that y-axis back and forth and lo and behold it would it would go one direction and it would go the other direction so I said aha that's what it was so I went in to my all in one DC and I reversed the polarity on the other motors because they all they all exhibited the same behavior as soon as I tried to jog one, one, one of the motors in a certain direction 
I had a runaway. The motors just started spinning up. And they went all the way until uh, there was a stall error and, it, and the control shut it down. So I reversed them all. And sure enough, everything the motors are holding right now, I'm sure they still need to be tuned. 